Yeah, and that testing demand, of course, going up as we see more and more COVID cases across the country. And as those cases surge, there are growing questions about masks, what kind of wear, now and when, and about the severity of the Omicron variant. Joining us now to answer some of those questions and more, Dr. Eric Topol, director and founder of the Scripps Research Translational Institute. Dr. Topol, great to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So let's start on the subject of those masks. Your opinion, which ones are the best ones to wear and should we be wearing them outdoors now? Yes, uh, we do need better quality masks that help prevent infections. KN95s are inexpensive and widely available. N95s, even perhaps slightly better, but more expensive. Those are the ones to go with. At the very least, a surgical three-ply, but that's not as good as KN95. So upgrade the mask. We've needed that for some time. We've been warned about Omicron back in November, and this should be the norm, and it should have been the CDC strong recommendation uh, back then, if not before. Dr. Tobel, where would you say we are in this latest wave? We're seeing some forecasts that are predicting the peak is coming soon, that it may have already come in parts of the country. What are you seeing? Well, there's only hints of some peaks um, in terms of cases, like in Puerto Rico, uh, perhaps in uh, New York City. These are cases that are not peaks in hospitalizations. We're still in the thick of it, and certainly here in San Diego, we started later than in New York. So we've got weeks ahead, I'm afraid, where this is gonna to continue to soar. We have a, a, an enormous number of infections in San Diego. It's just gonna increase. Hopefully, as we've seen in other countries, there'll be a sharp descent. But when that starts, it's projected perhaps the next couple few weeks uh, is not entirely clear. Doctor, I've seen articles that talk about maybe this will do us a favor in terms of achieving that herd immunity because it's milder than what we've seen before. Do you buy into any of that? Well, there's kind of a mixed message there. Yes, it will upgrade the number of people who have developed infection-induced immunity. And there were breakthroughs, of course, that are occurring for people who have been vaccinated. But on the other hand, uh, it's even though it's less severe, uh, by 60 or 70 percent. The fact that it's five to ten times more infections, the net is a, is a wash. That means a lot more people in the hospitals, like what we're seeing in San Diego. And so it's also the unpredictable feature. And that's why it should not be seen as an in inevitability. It should be seen as something to avoid if you possibly can, because there can be long COVID from Omicron. We don't have any data on that yet. Uh, and so there's a mixed bag here. Yes. Overall, there'll be better uh, immunity wall that's developed, but there's a lot of unpredictable features and better not to succumb uh, to Omicron, better to keep your guard up. Knowing what we know now, Dr. Topol, what are you advising people to do in terms of behavior going forward? People who are vaccinated, for example, should they be wearing masks outside? Uh, what, what needs to happen uh, as we get through this wave, not knowing exactly what's gonna come after that? Right, well, the number one thing is getting vaccinated and especially boosted. The most important thing that people aren't aware of generally is that if you get the third shot, the protection against severe disease with Omicron is about 90%. That is 90% reduction of hospitalization, which is extraordinary. But if you don't get the third shot, it's only 50%. So that's the biggest thing you can do right now. Yes, the, the masks, uh, wearing them outdoors might help a bit. Sure, we don't really know about Omicron and outdoor transmission. But the number one thing is the vaccination and the boosting, which we are really short on throughout the U.S., throughout California, and also in San Diego. And we're just curious, given your inside perspective, is there anything that's been on your mind lately about what's going on with this virus and where we're headed? Well, the hope is that this has been such an enormous number of mutations that took us to Omicron that hopefully we can't do worse. It would be hard to have something that's more infectious and transmissible, but it's possible that we'll see a variant that could be more severe. That's where we were lucky with Omicron. Let's hope we don't see that happen. The only way we're gonna avoid it is getting containment. Otherwise, if we have millions of cases in the US and around the world, we're, we're much more apt to have another Greek letter variant. So 
It's hard to know at this point. But let's just hope that we stay away from that problem. Dr. Eric Topol, director and founder of the Scripps Research Translational Institute, thank you so much again. We really appreciate your expertise. Thanks. Great to be with you.